This is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the Plural Site Author. Before I continue with the video, a small information. If you are new for .NET and a Plural Site subscriber and wanted to learn ADO.NET in detail with examples, then please watch my course ADO.NET by Examples at Plural Site for better understanding of ADO.NET. Most of the developers must be aware about C Sharp Ref Keyword and its behavior. For the people who are not aware of C Sharp Ref Keyword, just to understand in simple terms, ref variables are used to return the address of the variable rather than the value. And it can also be used with a reference type where new memory allocating has to be done in the calling method. But till C sharp 6, we can only use a ref keyword while passing a parameter for a method. In C sharp 7, we can also use a ref for returning a variable from a method. That is, a method can return a variable with reference. We can also store a local variable with reference. Now in this video, we shall understand how to work with ref locals and ref returns. Let me first add a class and let me provide the name for the class ref local and ref return demo. And let me click on add button. Now let me first add an entry point for our application. And now just to understand the concept of ref locals, let me define an array of string variables. So let me type in string array speakers equal to Maheshan, Kama Shekhar, Kama Pinal Dave, Prabhujit, Pakshi. In order to define the ref local variables, we need to type in ref data type and the variable name. So let me type in ref string speaker equal to let me assign the reference of the second speaker to this variable. So let me type in ref speakers of 1. This statement will define the ref local variable and reference the second element within the speakers array. Now let me update the value of the ref local variable. So let me type in speaker plus equal to Srinivasan. Now let us observe. As I change the ref local variable value, what will happen to the original string array speakers? To observe, let me type in console.writeLine of speaker name plus speaker. And to observe the list, let me type in console.writeLine of speakers data slash n plus string.join of comma speakers. Now let me save this file and set this class as the startup object and let me execute the file. We can observe the value of the second element present within the array also has been updated. Now let us understand some important points that we need to remember while working with ref local variables. Once the reference of a variable has been assigned remember that we cannot bind the ref local variable to another element to understand let me type in speaker equal to ref speakers of zero we can observe that an error has been displayed and one more important point that we need to remember in ref local variables is that we cannot use this concept with list or generics or any complex type. To understand, let me type in list of string authors equal to new list of string. Let me copy the same speaker names as the author names also and paste as the value. Now let me define a ref local variable for the list. So to do, let me type in ref string author equal to ref authors of 1. We can observe an error has been displayed because remember that ref argument should be an assigned variable, field or an array element. 
and one more interesting feature about the ref local variables is that once the ref has been set to the local variable if any changes happens to the original data still the reference variable will work properly to understand this let me resize the speakers array to do let me type in array dot resize of speakers comma one now we have updated our speakers array to maintain a single element now let me update the value of the ref local variable speaker equal to shaker the guru instead of shaker srinivasan i have updated the name as shaker the guru now let me copy the above two right line statements to observe the values now let me save this file and execute this application we can observe the value of the ref local variable has been updated to shaker the guru whereas the speakers array is now having only a single element hope you have understood about the ref local variables now let us understand about how to work with ref returns that is from c sharp 7 onwards the methods can return a reference variable to understand that let me define a method to find a speaker so let me type in public static ref string find of string array speakers comma string speaker let us find if the provided speaker is present in our speakers collection or not to do let me type in for of int i equal to 0 i less than speakers dot length i plus plus and now let me verify if the speaker exists within the collection to do let me type in if of speakers of i dot equal of speaker written ref speakers of i now if the specified speaker is not present then how do we return that value if i type in return speaker not found we can observe an error the reason is speaker not found is a value type and what we need is a reference so the best solution in this case is to return an exception so let me type in throw new exception of speaker not found once we have defined this method if i wanted to use this method let us observe what we need to perform so let me comment the ref local variable declaration statement now let me type in ref string speaker equal to ref find of speakers comma shaker observe that before calling the method we have used the ref keyword now let me save this file and execute this application we can observe the find method has returned the reference of the element present at the speaker's collection. Hope you will enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy in producing. If you like this video, please give a like, share or comment and do subscribe my channel. This encourages me to produce more videos. Thank you all. Happy programming.